F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fans? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews for friend request friends to watch True Detective season one, episode two, title Seeing Things. <sighs> I wonder what type of things we're going to be seeing today on this episode. Because last episode, just the whole, you know, them trying to build the foundation of this of this uh, series. It's been good, man. I, I enjoyed it. I love the, the, two, pro uh, the two protagonists, the, the actors playing them. I think they're, they're dope. Woody and uh, Matthew. I fucks with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I'm ready, man. I'm ready to dive into this one, man. Whatever they got for me, I'm pretty sure it's going to be dope. Um, hopefully, we can kind of figure out what's, or, you know, who's who's the killer. Maybe we can get a little hints here and there because as of right now, we have no clue, no idea, if, even if they show the person or not. So I'm just kind of curious where, where that's going to lead to. How about you, Fomo? How you feel about going into this next episode? Yeah, I like that you brought up the killer because um, that's one thing we didn't bring up in the end talk was the fact that they they said they caught the killer back in '95. Oh yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So so who is who is this guy doing it now? Um, but you're right though. We never got that scene. Like all we got was the scene where they found a little, you know, contraption or whatever in the uncle's backyard. Mm -hmm. But they never confirmed, like, if they arrested those two people for that or, like, what that was about. Um, so I definitely want to know, like, who was arrested back in the day and, and obviously what's what's going on now. So let's get it. Listen, man, we're not going to hold you here any longer. We're just going to dive right into this episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and also don't forget to subscribe, okay? The goal is 10K. Only way we're going to get there, though, is if you click that button, also click that bell. So you get notified when we go live. Let's get it. Let's go. Back then, not sleeping. I lay awake thinking about women. My daughter. My wife. I mean, it's like... You sound just got your name on it. Like a, like a bullet. Hmm. Shit. Sorry, I drift. <laughs> he three bears in. You feel me? And he got his... It's a Junie June flash. One reason anyway. Damn, they went from no smoking to chain smoking to thing. bears. Like, that's mm. crazy. Say so you want this story. Okay, damn, we just had, <laughs> just mentioned this shit. I mean, the aunt reckoned maybe it was something she made in school. <laughs> to me, it was, it, was, it was like someone was having a conversation, you know? I mean, Buddy did say that his, his grandmother taught him how to make them. Oh, we notified the deceased mother Do you remember the last time you saw your daughter, Dora? And I prayed. I prayed for that woman's family. And it's me. Wait. It's me. She, I heard he passed. She looks hella Why wouldn't a father bathe his own child? <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> his face, though. May 11th, 1984. When was the last time you talked to her? Oh, that's Jesse Pickman's mother. I'm like, who the hell is I know this lady. She came by not too long ago, maybe a month. She didn't talk about her daddy none. Said she'd been going the to church. so damn creepy. Do you, um... <clears throat> church, okay. Ow. You okay? Ah. Uh, help me with all grace the Lord's she got a tumor or something? Damn, you see her hands? Yeah, she got the joints like like a dude from the corner. <laughs> That's what's wrong with my nails. Ooh. Your mom's still alive? Maybe. <laughs> okay. He would answer like that. Mm-hmm. You know, you know better than to ask him questions like that. For real, why are you even talking in the car? I thought we said it, silence. 
quiet reflective time or some <laughs> shit. Yeah. Marines, Korea, never talked about it. You know, there was a time that men didn't air their bullshit to the world. <laughs> it just wasn't a part of their job. Yikes. That's all they do nowadays. I think a part of Russ's problem was there was things he needed that he couldn't admit to. Hmm. Alcohol? How was she? Thin, loopy, like high. He's on something. And she says she found a church, but uh, her eyes, something wrong with them. Now, do you remember where this church was? Exactly. Where's this church? The second mention? She sounds sad, Marty. Like a torn up person on her last legs. She was just an easy target for him. Every person within a thousand miles know. here is religious in some kind of way, mm -hmm. except you. I mean, <laughs> the birds have animals. Ah, that's not this. This has scope. Mm. Now, she articulated a personal vision. Vision is meaning. Meaning is historical. Look, she was just chum in the water, man. She was just chum in the water, huh? Easy bait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wonder if there's going to be another body. You know the job. You're looking for narrative. Uh, interrogate witnesses. A full cigarette for breakfast. <laughs> Establish a timeline. Build a story. Is that how he gets ready in the morning? <laughs> that small ass mirror? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even realize that's what that was, bro. That shit was the size of fucking. You remember Zoolander's little a quarter? Phone? <laughs> Hello, God. It's a school for ants. I was married, Marty, for three years. We had a baby girl. She died. Car accident. She was two years old. That's yeah. That's a tough one to get uh, get through. He says she was two though. So the the ghost is the, his girl is girl growing, because the ghost was like six or seven. Maybe that was the actual girl on the street. <laughs> you have to think about that. <laughs> he just went straight to the ghost theory, like. I wear him down. Hmm. You know, they, they they get unhappy. Hmm. Yeah, I think the job does that to a lot of guys. Changes you. Some guys just notice this all. Well, I can't say the job made me this way. More like me being this way made me right for the job. <laughs> right for the job. I like that. Now I live in a little room out in the country behind a bar. Work four nights a week. In between, I drink. And there ain't nobody there to stop me. Hmm. I, I'm occupied, so security I don't hear anything. So you were I don't know that her roommate has come home. You know how I knew that she was in the room? She stuck her finger up my ass. Jeez. <laughs> Surprise. People are in, the, in all shows getting surprises. That's crazy. Facts. You mind if I stop by? I don't know. Where are you? Hmm. Is that a yes? Wow. Oh. It's this for your wife and kids too. I mean, I said this is for your wife and kids too. In the end, it's for the good of the family. <laughs> <laughs> that's how. That's how. Say. That's how someone Amazing. will justify it. Mm. I definitely die. Them eyes. Just like we said, they went to the stairwell. Mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> here it like, goes. What? Damn, busting out the shirt. <laughs> that boy was ready to eat the groceries. <clears throat> All right, Mr. No Sleep on his dream. Exactly, these visions you mentioned. Wait, he gets visions? Bro, he saw that little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
That's some shrooms. This is before he went through Interstellar. This man is not pulling over. He is <laughs> he a real one, so he wilder. This man about to go back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> I spent four years undercover. <laughs> really? You know what that means? Nah. Four years undercover, long yeah, time. Yeah, they know. Those files are still sealed, huh? Mm, the redacted files. Shit. <laughs> she. Not the familiar face. You want a place? That was Are one of the jumps from, from yeah, episode right? one. Dopey stuff. Oh. That they had uh, to run. Interview. Now you, you wanted something else. else? She told you it was Damn. Some kind of something else? Mm. No, close them back up. Nah. No. I can smell you from here. I'm good. Seen plenty of guys that get touchy. Something sets them off and they're like little boys. She said whiskey hmm. limp? People always go away around here. Heard of this place. Kind of trailer park. Girls work, stay. Call it the ranch. <laughs> they call it the ranch. He's heard of it. Where were you? Mm. I was out with girlfriends. Uh huh. Exactly. Well, something like that. I just mean that there's a crazy man out there, and uh, he's killing women. <laughs> Wait, you mean that girl again? That satanic thing? Everyone's still talking about that at the courthouse. We're thinking that he's been doing this a while. Wow. Yeah. So, no need to go out. <laughs> Stay home. <laughs> like, nah. I want things too. Yeah, you just want your cake and to eat it too. That man went for the groceries. Morning. Yeah, I think I might have found something good. <laughs> what? You can smell it. You can wash up. You got some pussy on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You can smell that shit coming off your upper lip, boy. Oh, that's Maggie, huh? Hey. For, exactly. Yeah, that was. What's with your fucking nose? <laughs> yeah, that was disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, I was that waiting. Was I was hella. like, let me not react. He should react. <laughs> Are you saying that's wife? Kind of high tide you walking in with? Hmm. Mm. Look how you cover with the fact that I ain't stupid. Ooh. I'm exactly. No comment as to the particularity of the scent. When you got some self loathing to do this morning, that's fine. Hmm. But it ain't worth losing your hands over. Hmm. That would not work exactly. And I might just apply a couple pounds of pressure. Snap your wrist. Ooh. Have you running out the lockers like this? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> shit getting intense. He said, I'll break your whole shit, boy. But that was disrespectful as fuck to say. <laughs> say your wife. <laughs> it was disrespectful, but he was that he was what? calling him out, man. He was making him accountable. For the bullshizer. But he better apologize. You got a specific location for this place, or are we just gonna wander around till we find it? Mm, I got some names. I'm gonna have to ask for directions. I mean, I, I won't lie. It, it, however we left it, he had some moves. Really? He had some moves? He about to show them right now? We, uh, looking for a little bunny ranch down around these parts, y'all. Know where we could find it? No, sir. Never heard about it? Little whorehouse? Uh-uh. I'll be right back. I'm about to go in Take there. The jacket. I'm about to go in there like John Cena? This bad, fool. Hey, he left the fingers. Bro. He washed this up with one. Mm. That's what I said. He taking that jacket off. Ooh. Man, came back just fixing his little wrist parts. 
Three south. I'm gonna exit off the shoulder before we get to the 14. From there, we take a dirt fishing road to Bayou Chanel. That man saw him through the window like this. Had to. <laughs> I love that they're continuing it after the whole scenario. I like that. Martin Hart, Rustin Cole. It's a fat ass cat. ID. Something happened to a girl, and we need to know if any of you knew her. Yeah, a story. Are you pretty good friends with her? She was nice to me when I first came around. You got any idea where she might have been staying the last few weeks? I don't. She'd been going to church. I was hoping maybe she just turned things around. You said she left a bag. Can I see it? <clears throat> I forgot where she's from. Damn, man. All these familiar faces. That she girl's not 18. I think that's the chick from Power, yo. Sheriff, no, you got underage working from here. Power Force. Yeah, that is her. That's right, yeah. Right? There are other places she could go. Such holy bullshit from you. It's a woman's body, ain't it? At that age, she is not equipped to make those kind of choices. Girls walk this earth all the time screwing for free. <laughs> Why is it you add business to the mix and boys like you can't stand the thought? Because you take advantage, that's why. It's cause suddenly you don't own it the way you thought you did. <laughs> we'll be in touch. Man, that's crazy, what? Yes, thank you. Hear this shit come out? Mm. Do something else. <laughs> Go make Dahlia. That's what she did. She went and made Dahlia. <laughs> this was stupid. He said, was that a down I closed painting? my eyes and saw the king in yellow moving through the forest. This is her diary, Marty. Believe this shit. Girl, that young. I wish to stay out here today. She was this. John to make church. The church. Let's go. Look at this. Oh, we should go there. Could be the church everyone mentioned. Mm -hmm. Well, would you check around for John while we're out here and pick up the church on Monday? Nah, that sounds dumb, bro. Three people mentioned the church already. Sophia. My daughter, she was on her tricycle in our driveway. Oh, uh, shit. We lived down a little bend in the road. and Anyway, afterwards, uh, Claire and I turned on each other. You know, we, we we resented each other for being alive, you know. Three months I was ripping off couriers or ending up in a Ramada Inn with a couple of fucking eight balls. Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Took his anger out on the out on his work. Yep. Twenty four seven ripping it. Yeah. A nine into a crankhead for injecting his infant daughter with crystal. Mmm. Said he was trying to purify her. So they did. They made me a floater, like a trick. You know, any agency or department needed a deep undercover narc. He said like a trick? <laughs> yeah. And then kept you out there for four years. Mm-hmm. Damn. In February of 93, I What's killed that? three cartel men in the Port of Houston. Mm. I took 325s in the side and ended up at North Shore Psychiatric Hospital in Lubbock, Texas. 325s to the side. Sheesh. Who the hell is that? That was that's Matthew McConaughey right there, bro. What you mean? That was him, bro. To what? Looking through the window? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Yo, it did not be? look like him for a second, son. I thought this man was hallucinating himself as someone else for a second, bro. Why homicide? Oh, something I saw at North Shore. Quote from Corinthians. The body is not one member, but many. Now, are they many, but of one body? This fool will be speaking hella cryptic. What? You know I'm not good with this. Should be going over my head. For a second day, I thought that was Shuro. Things like that didn't happen in these parts when I was young. People said, ma'am and sir. Family stayed together. That's long gone, bruh. 
There was more dignity. Everyone wasn't out in the street yelling about their rights. Sounds familiar? Anybody? Yeah? Huh? Huh? I'm just saying if there's a problem, you can talk to me. You know that. If I have a problem with someone, I talk to them. Uh... I don't know why you're so rude to me. If you're frustrated, don't take it out on me. I think that you need to get your cable fixed and stop confusing me with your soap operas. Mm. Well, you beat up on what you can't control. Mm. Makes it bad for everybody else. Mm. I've seen kids today, all in black, wearing makeup, shit on their faces, mm -hmm. everything. Talking about the emos. Talking about the Puerto Rican whore. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot he called them that. I got this lead I wanted to check up on. I told you about it. Uh, maybe your dad could bring you back. No, he didn't tell me anything about it. Mm. I did tell you about it. I mentioned it. It's the new case. Nah, you mentioned it to the wrong one. Okay, well, how about we all head mm -hmm. back there? Mm. All right, sweetheart. He surely did, Bradley. He surely did. He was worried about her going out with friends. Good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today, officer? I have a question for you. You ever seen this girl? Question. You got any questions? I'm looking for this young lady. Does she recognize me? I might need a memory jog. Dora. <laughs> that man gonna spend all his bread out here. You feel me? Years. We've been through this. Sweetheart, listen to me. There is nowhere else I want to be. <laughs> I wonder if you even know your line. Oh, come on! What are you getting so mad for over here? The, the shit I gotta wade through on a daily basis. Bring me this feel bad for me crap. I come home to one she place to where there's with supposed to be you better peace. Shut up. It's not always that way. It's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be what I want. It's supposed to help me. We do help you. And maybe you'll stop with the poor me little whiny bullshit. <laughs> He'd be going hard when he say bullshit. Every time he say bullshit, it sounds like it's super effective. Like it's a critical <laughs> hit. Like. I think you're the greatest woman I ever met. And you're the greatest thing that ever happened to me. When's the last time you ate her groceries? Yeah, I was going to say. Nigga, just gonna say this. <laughs> you have developed some sort of selective deafness. Damn. Used to not be such a chicken shit, I swear. Mmm. You know it hurts the ego when you call a man a chicken shit. Do you know who her previous boyfriend was? Okay. His name is Ian. Mission Impossible. Better be careful. Dinner time, kids. Go to the kitchen. Are you coming? Yeah, of course. I'm starving. Really? What the? That? <laughs> no way. Wait, give me your fucking having a TVs. conversation. I don't even know where you've what? seen this, where you heard this. What? You got kids? Mm. Three. I think of the, the hubris. I asked my daughter if she, uh, she spared me the, the sin of being a father. Hmm. It's one hell of a way to put it. Hey, morning, Marty. Hey. Majors, introduce me. New flying squad. You know, Mark Daltrey, Ted Bertrand. We've been tasked with investigating crimes with possible occult links. There's been a rash of animal mutilations, cemeteries defiled. And they want to see what we have on the Lane case. Uh-huh. Mm. They're going to think this is somehow tied? We're not stepping on your toes, Marty. We just got the mandate. We got to compare notes with what you got. Yeah. Xerox all you want. Make you feel like good cops. <laughs> He's stupid. He don't like he said. He know he know who he is. He know the type of man he is. But. You got an opinion about anything? You hold on to it. <laughs> you hold on to it. 
or you tell it to Marty. Otherwise, button your big fat mouth. <laughs> you had anything in the last weeks? You got a suspect? Give us more guys to follow up KAs, track records. So our, our bosses don't want you at all. You are upright only by the grace of this man's reputation. Really? God damn, Cole. How many ways are there for me to say, shut the fuck up? <laughs> God damn, man. This man can't stop. Like, why everybody got to tell this man to shut the fuck up? You ever solve a murder, been in the red more than a week? You ever clear one where two rounds of questions didn't hand you the fucking answer? It's your call. You want to dump this one off? Yeah, you know, I think about it, give him the spotlight. This man makes this. <laughs> well, you're a smart ass with your mouth shut. <laughs> I'm just going to say, we've got a lead on a church. Right? Our Vic was spending a lot of time there. That's where we were headed. It could be the break we need. Give us the rest of the month hmm. before they lump it into whatever the play is with the task force. I thought yeah. he was going to say the rest of the week. That's good. A month. Y'all going to need. Yeah, they're going to need a lot of time. I mean, they got nothing. Damn, two weeks. They gave them two weeks. Church is right, though, man. They need, they need a little bit more manpower, man. I wanted to ask about that big throwdown in the woods. <clears throat> yeah? Eventually, sure. Right now, we're just trying to track the case. How cold worked it? Throwdown especially. in the woods? That y'all are trying to jam somebody up. You're on to something new. Mm hmm. Hmm. So, Cole didn't want to give it to the task force. Did you? I guess if it's one of those tent revival places, they move around. Yeah. That or. Tents usually do. Ooh. There you go. Ooh. So, back to the drawing board. Here we go. Gotta find out who owns it, who owns this land. There's construction back there. Hmm. Seen that? Did the little circle. Wait, did she circle. mention the birds and did she mention anything about birds in the uh, in her diary? Mm -hmm. uh. No, I mean I, I could always tell what was real or what wasn't, you know. So when I'd see things, fuck man, I just roll with it. <laughs> you still see things? No. Marty. Uh oh. He sees a symbol. The symbol. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking, right? The symbol. Another one of them trap traps. There are other times. Mmm, a woman with a damn horn on her shit. I thought I was mainlining the secret truth of the universe. You definitely found something, boys. Yep. We're on the right path. That's crazy. We gotta find out who owned this shit. God dang it. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. There we have it. Season one, episode two in the books. Yeah, man. Another another decent episode. I'm not going to say this is, you know, this is the greatest TV show ever made, but <laughs> I definitely like <laughs> I, I definitely love where they're going with it so far. Um, this episode was kind of getting a little bit more deeper into the characters kind of mm -hmm. lives and how they kind of how they're kind of handling all the the you know this uh this case so yeah i i quite enjoyed that definitely did um yeah how about you for how you felt about this one it was cool you know a nice solid follow-up to episode one like you said getting this a little bit further into the characters a little bit into their lives what they doing how they you know how well how one of them is managing his relationship because another one you know doesn't really have one anymore unfortunately um but also some good direction to this case as well like i think that church was a really big find mm -hmm. i'm I, I kind of feel like they stretched it out a little bit i'm just like come on man three people to mention this damn church i need to get to it um but i'm glad that we finally did get it in this episode because yeah i'm really curious like who, who was this first person that they already bagged and then like who who's out here now like we gotta we gotta get that connection so it's cool it's a cool episode 
Yeah, man. Uh, definitely uh, a chunk of this episode was... Uh, damn, I don't even know Buddy's name, bro. That shit crazy. Uh, hmm. Woody? Oh, yeah. That's his name right there, Woody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know his name, yo. Uh, somebody comment down here. Comment down the names down below. Matthew and Woody's name. That way we at least can try to ingrain that bitch into the brain. Um, I know Matt is cold. Russ Cole or something Russ. like that. Yeah. Russ. Russ. Russ Cole. Yeah, but we did get into um Woody's Woody's character a little bit, man. This dude is I don't know, man. He already checking off the list as a douche. You know what I'm saying? The man out there cheating. And he hella disrespectful when it comes to his wife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even though Cole is a little bit more disrespectful because that man said, "Is that your wife, Sam?" <laughs> hey, he just told that man to be accountable. That's all. I he love, was being a homie. I love that scene though. That scene because they kind of kept it going a little bit longer. You know, yeah. a little, a little jabs here and there. I like mm-hmm. that. I like that. Yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> It was it was a cool scene also because it showed um kind of kind of showed a little bit of, of Cole's savagery as well like when that man he didn't think much about it like he let him grab him up and slowly put his hands in the position that he needed his hands to be and let him know like hey bro this shit ain't worth your hands player like it is <laughs> what it is like he, that's why I, that's why I even like the beginning when you know the future self or I guess the present self <clears throat> He's talking about, you know, I I know the kind of man I am. I know who I am. Um, and he says, like, he's gotten to that point in his life. But you can really see, even in his younger days, that he's he's pretty much been the same as well. Like, he, he says it how, he, how it is, or at least how it is to him, how he perceives it. Um, and he do what he do. So he's a solid character so far. Yeah. Can't lie. Yeah. And it, it all stems from, you know, the tragedy that happened about him losing his daughter and then, you know. Um, obviously, I I I can't really see a, a couple really getting back, or not even getting back, but just like kind of, well, yeah, getting back to normal after something like that happens. Yeah. So it's like it's understandable, but that's definitely the the point of no return for this man, because that man said twenty four seven I was out there mm-hmm. ripping and grinding, busting and. <laughs> He was out there busting some heads. So, yeah, it, mm-hmm. it definitely paints a picture of why he is the way he is. And then on top of that, he was also in, in the war, right, as well? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, it, this episode definitely kind of dove in into the, the two main protagonists uh, a little bit more, which I, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Yeah, I agree. All right, what else we got going on? I mean that, like we did the the, the typical, you know, investigating and things like that. So I mean, I guess all that happened, but ultimately it led them to the church, where mm-hmm. it was the true the true spot. But uh, I guess before we get to that, is there anything else we want to cover throughout the episode? Because, um. Just one thing that I that I did enjoy is seeing familiar faces. It's nice. Uh, it's always nice seeing familiar faces. We seen yeah. Jesse Pinkman's mom, and we seen old girl from Power, who uh, created Dahlia from Book <coughs> Four. Um, thought that was pretty nice. Um, how about you? Anything? Anything? You look up? Cause that ain't yeah, really no. Nah. Like I said, yeah, no. Nah, it wasn't like it was. You know, they were going on their investigations, and like you said, we just kind of del- dove a little bit deeper into like who they are, some of their past a little bit. I mean, we did learn a, a pretty decent amount of, about Russ, to be honest, more so than other buddy. Like, yeah, we know that he's a cheater now, and mm-hmm. you know, the, it's kind of, if I'm being honest, it's it's, it's a bit of the typical like typical, trope yeah. of like a detective, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> drink, you cheat, whoop de woo. Mm-hmm. Um, so Cole, I would say, is more the uh, the shining star just in terms of a uh, character development here because we learned that he was freaking 
undercover he had to go to the psych ward this man bodied some cartel members like yeah. we really got some some ends with this we even we even saw him you know beat a couple people's asses in this episode <laughs> um so definitely the rush show a little bit on this one which yeah. i don't have a problem with um but one thing that i just i ain't gonna say i dislike it because you know it's tv like they obviously just can't give us the answers but when it comes to these detective shows, man, I'll be so, uh, I do be pretty immersed, like, and I'm ready to, I, like, I'm like, man, I guess I kind of want to binge it. That's that's what I'm going to say, man. It makes me want to really get, get through it because I really am kind of invested in, like, who the hell's the killer, mm -hmm. what's going on, and then what's the new stuff? Like, because yeah. it's kind of funny that um, Buddy brought it up, like, oh, wait, y'all got something new. But Russ been on that. Russ was already on that on episode one. Like, he like, oh. Like, so it shows, you know, the difference in intelligence as well and stuff like that. Um, so I do like it. I do like it. But the slow burn, it just hurts, man, because I'm just do. like, because they I'm throw invested, a little, man. They throw little things here and there that kind of, you know, reference the past. Like uh, Woody was talking about, oh, you know, you guys want me to talk about the whole thing in the woods. And it's like the whole show. Mm -hmm. So it's like, OK, there's something that's going to happen in the woods now. So I'm going to be looking for that. Mm -hmm. But the. Uh, yeah, the one thing that kind of threw me off low key is very small, but it's the dolls that them girls was playing with. Oh, uh, low key, that shit is disturbing as fuck, bro. Like, how did they even? Where did they even? Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Yeah, um, I feel like they were trying to. I guess with that, they probably were just trying to maybe help us visualize, like how not in tune he is with his it, family yeah i was gonna but say yeah that. i was yeah. just like god lee <laughs> that's, that's disturbed, <laughs> bro and it was Yo. so like bro the dude had jeans like yeah he was so down. <laughs> bro what yeah they that they, yeah the, the visuals on that was wild like yeah. crazy um shorty was really about to get gang banged but i, I do sure. i do see what you're saying about, you know, we should have gone to the church earlier because, you know, we had three people tell us about it, which I agree, but they're kind of setting up the whole, these guys are coming in, they're going to take your jobs, and you know what I'm saying? So I felt like... We didn't need that shit, though. Dude, we didn't, but this is kind of <laughs> kind of the, the light under the ass, you know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, Fire, yeah, You know nah. what I'm saying? To kind of get them, get them, <laughs> you know, to, to, to do their job a little bit quicker, so... They ain't really got time to be messing around now. Yeah, that's facts. So, yeah. You know, yeah, this episode, like you said, didn't really um, move too forward when it came to, like, the, the actual, you know, detective work and, and plot. Obviously, you know, the church is a big thing, but we got that at the very end. Um, yeah. Yeah, so pretty much a character unveil. Reveal, to the unreal. Reveal, uh, just basically who these motherfuckers is. Yeah, I love the church scene though. I like the drawing. It was just dope, like seeing that drawing there. Looked like fucking black chalk or some shit. But I was like, oh man, yeah, it's dope. I, I like, yeah, I like these these types of shows. Though. I can't lie, I like to. But I also get it, like the slow burn. You know, what I'm saying no detective is really out there fucking solving murders in that's fine and you know a day so we got to deal with it <laughs> and and right now i think they're managing it fairly well too like because even though this episode didn't move us too too much forward with the investigation it gave us a lot of good like character development content so i'm not i'm not too too mad at it um but like i said it's just a bias you know it's really just a bias of mine i'm trying to I'm trying to get to it i'm invested <laughs> All right. Yeah, man. If you got any final thoughts, man. If not, you know, give us that skull. Um, I'm gonna give this one a nine. Uh, I think it was really good, really good detail. Uh, like I said, I really think Russ was the shining star. They went to a lot more into into some of his just just a lot more into just his past in general. Mm -hmm. Um, about the daughter passing, he even shared that with his partner finally. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, we got a little bit of an action scene, right? Get to see Russ pop off a bit here. And yeah, overall, it really is the Russ show for me right now. Like his character, he's a really solid character. Just 
the way he just um he keeps it real with everybody he doesn't care how people feel about him afterwards neither he already he already smacked one of his co-workers episode <laughs> one you know what i'm saying like so i'm actually gonna give this one a nine even though i'm complaining about um the pacing and stuff like i said it's more so of a bias um personally i think the episode itself though solid nine okay yeah i think i'll give this an eight seven five I think it's slightly better than the first one just because we got them extra details on the character themselves and um yeah i definitely like that uh cole is like a super badass like <laughs> the whole uh, a machine yeah the whole hand thing like i was like okay because the, the whole time i was just like why is he holding his hands like that <laughs> like why haven't you pried them off it's because he was waiting for that one liner that do you really need your yeah yeah because yeah, <laughs> I will have you out this bitch like swinging. He respect he respected him to let him get his his shit off his chest. Yeah, like yeah, he, yeah. he respected him enough, but after after the end of it all, I'm finna snap your shit. <laughs> you be looking like a scary movie and shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, man, there you have it, man. 875 for me, 9 for formal, man. It, this show is definitely, um, I feel it. I feel like it's gonna definitely going to be a banger. Um, especially when we start getting into like who's who's mm-hmm. who and who might be it when we get closer. And then on top of that, the new evidence in the present is mm-hmm. what I feel like going to kind of change the the tone of the, of the show. Because, you know, we they did speculate that maybe possibly Cole... Right, in the first episode, a little bit. What, like he's a suspect? Yeah, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, they was so. like, you disappeared for eight years, and now you're back, and blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah. So. And you know, it's another thing. Um, dang, I'm sorry, right? We ripening it up, but uh, um, they haven't even seen each other in like ten years. So yeah. I'm really interested in what that may potentially look like if they, if we do get to see the present self interact with each other. Yeah. Maybe this new case is what gets them back together like maybe mm. it's not you know you know they're not happy about it but they might realize that they're the two best guys to to deal, potentially deal with this i don't know we'll see we'll see mm-hmm. i'm i'm speculating well man we are still rocking with us this long man we appreciate each and every single one of y'all thanks for tuning in but if you haven't already man like the video what you doing also comment down below let us know what you thought of this episode and if and most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. Y'all know the goal. And if you're to the full length reactions, Patreon link will be in the description down below. Of course, you have to bring your own copy. FRR is out. Peace.